Welcome to Grandad's Reviews. As I said in my previous uh, video regarding XT3 RAW files in Lightroom, I'll do a follow up looking at other software. I've got here Capture One, the Fujifilm Express version. Um, so we'll have a look how they both compare. Both these images are imported into Capture One and Lightroom at their default settings. So I've altered nothing. This is exactly how they imported into the program. And the first thing you really notice, and I think what the problem is with Lightroom, is it's very aggressive in its sharpening. If you look at Capture One, it is quite soft. But in Lightroom, it's very well sharpened, but we've got these artifacts, what they call worms. Um, if I increase the sharpening in Capture One to try and bring it up to the sharpness of Lightroom, you see we do start getting these artifacts coming into Capture One. So I think the initial thing to say is it's Lightroom is very aggressive in its sharpening. It's not so much the raw conversion, it's more the sharpening. And if you look as these artifacts get sharpened on Capture One, they're quite they're not as smooth as Lightroom. They're a, they're a different kind of artifact. So if we put that back to there, if we try and get Lightroom to the same as Capture One. And the way I found the best way to do this is to give it plenty of masking, somewhere around about 70 on the masking. Bring the detail right down. Uh, if we bring the sharpening down. And the radius down. We're getting a similar kind of sharpening to Capture One. In fact, Lightroom still, I would say, sharper. And that's what's bringing these this out into here. Uh, we just add a bit of noise reduction. So we're getting close. So if we push the sharpening to bring some sharpening into it, we can push it quite hard. I would say the Lightroom is sharper there than Capture One. Uh, if we see if we can. And capture one up. Mm. Have to keep the radius quite lower there. It really pulls it in. Put on the threshold. And keep this threshold right down there. try and get the same sharpness as in Lightroom we've still got these artifacts and actually further Lightroom artifacts to capture one but on initial importation yes I believe Capture One looks better, but it is because it's not sharpening as aggressively as Lightroom. I think that's that's one of the reasons. Uh, if we have a look at a different program, let's try Luminar. Add a sharpening filter. 
So again, this looks like it's not been very aggressive on its sharpening. Uh, I'll try and bring it up to somewhere the same kind of sharpness as Lightroom. Again, we're getting the artifacts. So we'll do the Lightroom trick again. And really, I don't think we can get Luminar anywhere close. Oh, masking in it. No. It's it's doing a good job at import, but it is less less sharp um, than Lightroom. And to get it anywhere near Lightroom, we start to get these artifacts in. So I say we're comparing these to Lightroom and I, Luminar just do me some weird colours so it doesn't really work. So let's have a look at this one. Again we can see that Capture One isn't being as aggressive in its sharpening. And if we bring this up we start to get the artifacts. So if we do the same thing on that room, let's have a quite aggressive on that. Is capture one? Adding a lot of noise reduction into that. I think there's an, all the softwares are doing different things to these Lightroom files. I don't think any, either of them is actually doing a good or a bad job of actually converting them. It's just how they implement the noise reduction and the sharpening. I think Capture One's been aggressive on its noise reduction, but not so aggressive on its sharpening. So it's getting what looks about like a better uh, image. Whereas Lightroom is being more aggressive on its sharpening. And less aggressive on its noise reduction. And if we put in some noise reduction in that, this still looks, the capture one still looks softer. And to get it up, we're getting the same artifacts. But in the initial Importation, yes, capture one does look better. I have another program here that we can try, and this is the Fuji Raw Studio. So if we sharpen that up to a plus four. It certainly looks better. It's quite sharp. I think so. There is some artifacting on that uh, plus four sharpness. We'll do Lightroom.
and that's pretty similar. Plus two there. Put the noise reduction to zero. So what we get. And I would say Lightroom's a bit sharper. Let's add some more sharpness into that. I think that's similar. But it does a good job. Let's have a look at our original. And this is with our settings that we've done in Lightroom. So we'll put it in Fuji X Raw Studio. Uh, sharpness plus four. Was reduction minus two. Does minus put the noise reduction to zero. I would say that Lightroom looks sharper. Not the noise reduction right down. And that's similar. Look at the hair, say that's similar. Uh, get a bit of more noise reduction in it, Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, so Fuji Raw Studio is doing a pretty good job. I have used Iridient Transformer to. Uh, Do the raw conversion. Uh, do it with detail. Let's go back to this one. And this is the detail setting. Um, if we put everything back, it's very similar the initial importation of a normal raw if we go smooth I think the smooth does a better thing if we just add a bit of colour reduction in we can push and that looks very similar now I think yes you can get reasonable uh, results from Lightroom with RAWs you've just got to do a, a few tweaks use the mask in the detail you can download Iridient Transformer transform them um, raw develop them using the smooth setting I had low on the sharpening noise reduction and color and switched off everything in Lightroom you can download the Fuji X Raw Studio and convert it in there and I think you'll get good results as well so I hope this comparison has been uh, useful in my own opinion, I don't think it matter which one you use, it's a matter of tweaking the settings. Uh, that's my personal opinion. I still keep using Lightroom, I think. Um, I, I like the rendering of the, of the noise better than the Capture One, but that's my opinion. And I think you've just got to try each one, find your best settings and see what suits you. Keep an eye out for any for more videos on this and uh, see you later.